So on the base of the sweet will of our Guru Dev, who will hopefully join by the time, we will read Sri Sri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi on the base of searching for quotes from Chaitanya Tari Amrita. So last time, I think we ended somewhere in verse number 36. And because I'm not really sure if we read this, but anyway, usually we will read it again, the end. So I will read this statement from Chaitanya Charitamrita and then go further. It's in verse number 36 and we will go on with verse number 38. Krishnera hoi cha matkara. Ah, just a moment. It's not complete. Rupa deki apanara. Krishnera hoi cha matkara. Aswadi demone ute kama. Chaitanya charit amrita. Even Krishna is astonished when he sees his own form and he gets the desire to taste its sweetness himself. Even inert creatures are enchanted by his form. Bhagavat 10, 29, 40 states, all the three worlds are enchanted by seeing Krishna's form, and the hairs of the cows, birds, trees, and deer are all standing up of ecstasy. But, I love these buts. You know, there's always a but. And I love these buts in connection of Sri Radha. Even though it is like that, but the cloves of Sri Radha's breasts are enchanting even Krishna. So even that all enchanting form of Krishna is completely enchanted by the sweetness. And here in this statement, by the cloves, the breasts, of Sri Radha. Why? Because these cloves are containing all the rasa for him, all the mahabhav for him. It's inside there because this is her emotions in form of cloves. And that's why he has to be enchanted. He has to be astonished. He has to be thrown away by that because he cannot think of an end of that love emanating from that breast of Radha for him. And I don't know if I said it already, but we are so lucky so extremely lucky that we can witness that. We can talk about this, we can share on this, and we can have at least sometimes a little drop of that enchanting rasa, of this enchanting Mahabhav of our Swamini. <laughs> So, of course, like always, you are invited to share on that. Share your feelings with us, because this makes it even more sweet. So, please, you are not disturbing. You are giving us your mercy by interrupting and sharing your feelings. So, if you feel so, please just do it. So last time we ended here. Now we will go on 
with verse number 38 from Shishirada Rasa Sudanidi. And there are two quotes inside I found from Chaitanya Charamita. So first we hear about a topic. It's about anxious Sri Radha. Yes, Sri Radha is so anxious. But she is not anxious to enjoy. No, she is anxious to let her beloved enjoy. And this kind of anxiousness, this is what we are looking for. And this is only in her fully. So we hear about her anxiousness. When will that Radhika who passes her day constantly lamenting for her lover with anxious eyes, saying, O oh, Shyama, O oh, most beautiful one, O oh, enchanter of my mind, O oh, you, who are as lovely as millions of cupids. Oh, good lover, ever be pleased with me. When will that Radhika, who purses her day like that, ever be pleased with me? That's a good meditation. Because when we are anxious like her, to serve her, to get her lover, then she will be very, very pleased with us. So Sri Radhika is very, very anxious to see her beloved. While she anxiously looks out for Shyam to come, she remembers his form, his qualities and his pastimes. And she sings. Oh, Shyama, Vrindavan is illuminated by the bluish luster of your body that shines like a fresh rain cloud. Who will not be enchanted by your sweet luster that enchants all the three worlds? Which housewife will not lose her patience and become mad about your sweetness? O Shyamala, if I don't see you, I will die. Please save my life by showing yourself to me. So now comes the maid servant. What she is doing in this moment? She consoled Srimati, saying, O oh Radhe, keep calm. Your heart's lover will come right now. But, alas, what is the way to console her, boy, her burning heart? Srimati says, O Sundara, O beautiful one, my life is leaving me because I cannot relish the sweetness of your beauty. 
My eyes are very eager to lick the nectar of your sweetness. How can I stay calm without seeing you? My maidservant did not understand my state of mind. Now comes the quote. Anjera ye dukka mone anya taha nahijane satya e sastrera vicha anya jana kahaliki nahijane prana saki yate kohe dahaya daribare Chaitanya Charit Amrita. The scriptures speak the truth when they say that another person can never understand the misery on another person's mind. What to speak of others? Even my own girlfriends that try to console me cannot understand my sorrow. Anjira ye dukkha mone anyatha hana hi jane satcha eshastrir vijara Anjya jana kahali ki na hi jane prana saki yate kohe dhari ya dhari bhare The scriptures speak the truth when they say that another person can never understand the misery on another person's mind. What to speak of others? Even my own girlfriends that try to console me cannot understand my sorrow. So in this connection, I asked myself, could it be that the mandra don't understand Radharani's mind? Because here it said, Branasaki. Yes, the pranasakis cannot understand. But the mandri? Nahi jane pranasaki. So this kind of girlfriends, they cannot understand the sorrow of Radharani. Of course not. How they could? They are part and parcels of her. How they could understand her whole heart? But why it is said here, oh, oh, my maidservant did not understand my mind? Somebody has an idea? Unfortunately, Gurudev is not with us now. He is not in the room. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, how can I stay calm without seeing you? Swamini is completely absorbed completely anxious to see her beloved, why she wants to serve him. He said she wants to see his sweetness, relish his sweetness. What kind of sweetness is meant here? When is this Shama sweet?
we know that Shyam is especially sweet when he is subdued by the love, by Mahabhav of our Swamini. Then he is most sweet. Without Radha, his sweetness is limited. But with Radha, his sweetness gets unlimited because of the love and seva of Radharani. So when Radharani is saying, I want to relish his sweetness, how could it mean? What is the point? So she wants to serve her beloved. And Radharani is saying, oh, oh, my maidservant did not understand my state of mind. Yes, it's true, because the maidservant understands the heart. Because the mind, Radharani could say something out of game, out of a play, out of a special rasa. But the heart of Radharani is always understood by the maidservant. And she, of course, will immediately serve accordingly. But we know it's Parakya. It's not what it looks like most of the time. It looks like this, but it's that. <laughs> so it's a sweet exchange, very deep and sweet exchange. And here it is said by Srila Anandadas Babaji, after the quote of that verse, Sri Radhika drives on serving Krishna. Without serving him, she suffers intolerable pain. She slowly goes mad and has a vision of Krishna, who tells her, Oh, beloved one, why are you sad? See, here I am. Where should I go without you? You are my everything in life. Srimati thinks, this womanizer is coming from Chantravali's kunj, and now he's flattering me? Thus she takes the mood of Dira Manavati, calm but offended girl, and says, O Manoha! You steal the hearts of all the girls of the world. That is why you have fulfill, uh, to fulfill the desires of all of them. That's a good point. You steal the heart of them. That's why you have to fulfill the desires of them. All the beautiful girls of Braj want to have you. I'm not the only one. Go and fulfill the desires of all these girls. So now we will come to the next quote. All the Bracha Gopis are under the spell of your form that charms millions of cupids. Therefore, go quickly. 
There's no need to delay. Quickly show us that you are better than millions of cupids by satisfying everyone. Freely come under their control. Don't worry at all. I am always pleased with you. Dira dira vakra vakye koru upahasa kabu stuti kabu ninda kabu va udasa Chaitanya Charit Amrita Matya Lila 14 Adira Dira Manini speaks joking words in a crooked way. Sometimes she praises Krishna, sometimes she insults him, and sometimes she's indifferent to him. Seeing in Radha's vision, there's no end to Nagarimani's peak. Nagara sits by her foot sole, holds her feet, and humbly says, O Radhe, with the beautiful teeth, if you are really angry with me, then strike me with your sharp nails. Bind me with your rope-like arms. And bite me, uh, bite my lips with your teeth. Do whatever may pacify your anger and may please you. You are my life, you are my ornament, and you are the jewel in the ocean of my existence. Be pleased with me, that is my only desire in life. So, we hear that tricky boy. You're upset with me? Oh, then please, <laughs> with your beautiful teeth, bite my lips, stroke me, strike me with your sharp nails, and bind me with your rope-like arms. So in this way we can understand that the words and the things who are exchanged are not looking like the same. <laughs> and exactly in that mood I understand also Oh, oh, my maidservant did not understand the state of my mind. Because usually Swamini is addressing her kinkari or maidservant in the mood which fits to the exchange with Shyam. Isn't it? What do you think? You have some feelings on that, or Guravani ji? Yes, uh, I want to say something. Uh, I, uh, first, I told thank you that you console us <laughs> by saying that they know in their heart. So it was very uh, hard <laughs> for the moment. How is possible that made someone don't understand? But I can see that uh, in the, all this um, description were before of the text when she said, my maid servant did not understand my state of mind. 
she's in some kind of uh, sub submissive situation, what is not usual for Radhika, right? So uh, maybe because of that, it's it state you cannot understand my mind. Uh, but um, I want to ask you, is it uh, um, because I was thinking that uh, he is always conscious, she is always conscious of her superiority to Krishna, that uh, she always see herself like an object of his pleasure. So in this part of the verses, seems to be that he's in some another type of mood when look seems to be that she depends on krishna maybe this is this is one of these waves on the oceans if you can say something about that radhe 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 thank you for sharing this and radha charan maybe you want to or soniti maybe you want to share something on that or of course Anybody else who wants? Yes. Suniti so, Didi. Hey. Well, I can only speculate because, uh, you know, what else can a conditioned soul do? <laughs> but if you want to hear my speculation, <laughs> we want to hear your feeling. <laughs> Not speculation. Speculation is coming out of the mind. <laughs> Feelings are coming from the heart. Yes, um, I I don't feel so much here. I just feel that Shimate Radhika is very uh, eager, and uh, you know that um, from human exchanges. We have a tendency to say, stay calm, but usually, sometimes it doesn't help. <laughs> Maybe that's why Swamini says, oh, she cannot understand how I feel. Because um, if somebody is very eager or very um, deep in their emotions of uh, separation, as Swamini is here, because she says, my life is leaving me. No, that's why maybe she didn't feel so much uh, understood by someone, even her maids are telling her, keep calm, <laughs> stay, stay cool. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, uh, you know, the maid servant should have run out and look for Shyam. <laughs> maybe the maid servant was not uh, reflecting the feelings of Radhika. And uh, that's why she says, oh, she did not understand my state of mind. How can I stay calm? She's lamenting, you know, even about the answer of the maidservant, because I guess in that moment it didn't serve her much. <laughs> we have had this feeling, right? When somebody says, oh, keep cool. But if somebody says, wait, I'll help you. I'll catch you whatever you need i'll i'll get it for you so maybe then even if it's un uh, un impossible then even you feel a little calm i don't know it's very difficult to uh, understand the relationship between swamini and her maid servant if the maid servant cannot catch the mood and as i feel it the, the whole is about anxious sri radha so when Shimate Radhika is anxious, usually also the the maidservants are very anxious. And usually maybe it works that they say, oh, Swamini, he will come in any minute. But today, even that doesn't work for Swamini. Today she is very, very upset. And she feels like her life is leaving her. She is just in a you know, feeling of intense eagerness. So even I think we don't need to worry so much why why it happens. But, you know, we have also in Vilapakusmanjali 
that uh, the scene where the uh, Swamini is chastising Tulsi Manjari, and then she is sitting outside and crying, and then Lalita has to come and say, why are you making this girl cry? She's loving you all the time. And like this, it goes sometimes. It goes like that in life also, that even those who love each other so much, who are always best friends, they sometimes they also have not the right, uh, how do you say, communication. And that could be. So I, I, that's what I say, speculate. Because usually I cannot understand, I cannot see also like... Uh, Uh, our Dianity G said that they are not in tune because the maid servants are made of the feelings of Swamini and for Swamini. So that's only my little contribution for that. Thank you very much for sharing this. Human like games. What does it mean? Human likes means shortcomings, isn't it? So, but they don't have shortcomings on the spiritual platform. So they play like that. I think we can understand it in that way because it makes the whole thing more sweet. If they were perfect, where's the sweetness? So it has to be like that. It has to be anxious. Anxious you are when you think you cannot get it. You're in fear. Will I? Will I not? Oh my God! What to do? And like Suniti said so nicely, yes, yeah, Swamini is so much anxious that nothing will help. I mean, really nothing. Whatever you can say to her in that moment, what will console her? It is mentioned before in the statement of Ananda Das Prabhupada. What can console such a lady who is completely anxious to serve her lover? Nothing can console her. So we can understand it as a little bit sold in the sweetness. Because we know sometimes when you make some sweet, you add a little bit salt and it gets more flavor and more sweetness. So these are the spices added. Human-like. But of course, the kinkery always feels the heart of Swami. This is not touched by that statement. At least this is what I feel. I mean, you know, it's not, I cannot speak the truth or not even come near to that, but it's rasa. So, This is what my little heart feels. Guravani, I like so much uh, when you said that uh, where will be the sweetness if everything will be perfect. So this is the sweetness of Vrindavan, that they are not perfect, Narayan or perfect Krishna in Dvaraka, but just a boy, <laughs> boy who, who wants to 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 be uh, enchanted who want to be li like human human like uh, relations so thank you so much thank you um Gauravani ji yes he's known by the name of ajit means who is always winner means no faults no mistakes perfect but he is like this outside of Raja. In Raja, he wants to be a loser. <laughs> he wants to make mistakes. Then Shumat Radhika will teach him by her play, playful lotus. He likes his position, his situation. This is human-like sweetness. 
because for humans it's natural to make mistakes. Before then I came to Isco and Gaudiamat, I received conception Guru is perfect, no faults, no mistakes. But then I came to here, I found it's not like this. Once one devotee came to Gurudev and started to complain on Gurudev, Kyo Gurudev, one lady devotee. And what Gurudev answered to her, to, to, he told her, you know, Guru in, in human body means he will do mistakes. It's not avoidable. He will do some mistakes. It's not like mistakes, no love. Love is there. No fault in this. But human like pastime, uh, pastimes <laughs> will be. It makes very close to Guru. If he is so perfect, so, how to say, omniscient, omnipotent. <laughs> I will fear I will be far away. No sweetness. Thank you, Radha Charan, for sharing your feelings. You see, it makes it always much more sweet when you also share and we can share that feelings and reflect on them. And thank you for that. I know it's not so easy. Sometimes you think maybe you could say something wrong, but you cannot say anything wrong in Raga. And we are not discussing here knowledge. We are talking about feelings. And the only thing we can get is more feelings, more clear, more in one direction on the direction of the Seva of Radhika's lotus feet. So even if we would say something wrong, somebody would lovely change it into the right perspective, isn't it? And I love this association so much. Because it's leaded by the love of Radha. Through the love of Gurudev, and he is like a dirigent. I want a little bit more. Once, one Shri Prabhupada's disciples asked Shri Prabhupada, Shri Prabhupada, you taught us that Guru have four faults. One of these faults to do mistakes. But every day I'm checking your translation. I found so many mistakes there. How can I understand this? And he is answered. I'm not doing the main mistakes in my heart always love for Krishna. What is why he's accepting my translation? Someone will be perfect in Sanskrit and English. But if no love in his heart, Krishna will not accept this translation. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I think also Gauravani and all other devotees, the, the quote from Chaitanya Chaitamrita that comes after that uh, expression of Srimati Radhika, it is also, in a way, explaining that state of over-anxiety that Shrimati ha ha has. And she says, what to speak of others? Even my own girlfriends that try to console me cannot understand my sorrow. So she is so much upset in her feelings. I mean, in eagerness, not in any other feeling, but that makes so much, uh, how do you say, passion in her whole expressions that she is even, uh, you know, chastising 
uh, her girlfriends that cannot understand her. And that is also one quality of, uh, of love and eager love that you sometimes feel that the whole world cannot get what is going on with you. <laughs> Isn't it? It's like a yes. special state of mind where you know the, the whole world cannot get how I am feeling. And we may have also this uh, um, experience, actually, when we are in a relationship and one day we felt very, very sad or something like this. And then our partner who understands us the best says something, Ah, oh, you cannot understand my sorrow and you cannot understand my feelings like this. And you may say that and inside there's another voice who says, what are you doing? It's not the truth. But anyway, you have to say it. <laughs> because it's the state of mind in that moment, isn't it? And no one can understand that, actually. No one. Because this is your feeling, it's your anxiety, it's your sadness or whatever. It's yours. And Swaminis is unique. It's the highest. Who can understand it? Not even herself. <laughs> so in this way, it gets astonishing for everyone. And this is actually the sweetness. It's always astonishing, always new, always fresh. No, it's not perfect. Because if it would be perfect, it would be boring. <laughs> Then we would live with Narayan <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so lucky we are that we don't have to do that. <laughs> the whole thing is so sweet. That's why it's natural that someone who hears about this wants the maid servant, uh, wants the maid service of Shirada. And this is actually the next topic in verse number 41. I found the next quote of Chaitanya Charitamrita, or better to say quotes. Yeah, again, more than one. Desiring Sri Radha's maid service. And I will read the verse that we understand the topic better. I just desire to be the maid servant of that supreme effulgence who is the very form of full, passionate love. So it tries to describe the effulgence, who shines like a vine of lightning strikes. Not just one lightning strike, a whole vine like lightning strikes who is the only abode of the Lord's intimate love and who mercifully appeared in the house of Maharaj Prishabhanu. Commentary Anxious Sripat cries out, Syat kinkari bhavitum eva mama bhila saha. My only desire is to become a maid servant, let alone actually becoming a maid servant, even if I simply carry the desire to become 
your maidservant in my heart, at the moment of that, I will attain it. So let alone this wish be in my heart, even if I just desire it. Even if we just desire it the whole life, again and again we stay on that wish. If I simply carry the desire to become your maidservant in my heart, at the moment of death, I will attain it. This is giving strong hope. If we carry that wish in our heart through the whole life, in the moment of that, we will attain it. How sweet and amazing is Sri Pat's humility. Yes, he is a Nitya Sita Kinkari. He doesn't have has to pray like that. He is doing it for us to give an example. Srimati Radhika's form is made of Mahabhav. <laughs> this is underlining. <laughs> you think it's too much mercy? Srila Ananda Das Babaji is saying, okay, you think it's too much mercy? Yeah? Srimad Radhika's form is made of Mahabhav. And it's made of mercy. She is our shelter. Sri Raguna Das Goswami says, Maha Bhavuchvala Chinta Ratnot Bhavati Vikraham. Her form is made of the blazing thought gem of Mahabha. Krishna Mai Krishna Yara Antare Bahire Yaha Yaha Netra Pode Taha Krishna Spure Chaitanya Chait Amita Adilila Chapter 4 Sri Radhika's name, Krishna Mai, means that Krishna is within her and without her. Wherever her eyes fall, there she sees Krishna. Krishna Mai Krishna Yara Antare Bahire Yaha Yaha Netra Pude Taha Krishna Spure Radhika's name Krishna Mai means that Krishna is within her and without her. Wherever her eyes fall, there she sees Krishna. In the same way, all of Srimati's dresses and gwens and ornaments are made of transcendent love for Krishna. Just as anything that falls in the salt water ocean becomes salty. And because we are searching for quotes of Chaitanya Charit Amrita, and we want to see the connection with Mahaprabhu, it's the same with him. He's in the mood of Radha, what he's seeing inside out. 
Everywhere he's seeing Krishna, inside, outside, everywhere he looks, it's all about Krishna. And that's why he's crying out, Hari, Hari, all the time chanting Krishna's names. Completely anxious. So we can see that this description of Radharani and the mood of Radha, they fit together, of course, perfectly. And we can understand Mahaprabhu much better when we get more feeling towards Radha then we also get more feelings towards Mahaprabhu. And we can catch the mood. Gurabani? Yes. Can I interrupt? I'm sorry. Of course. Please, please. It's so wonderful. Uh, but my mind is fixed on the on this what we read before you know i was always thinking that uh, do not think that in the moment of the dead is uh, is crucial moment but that in the in the life i must to understand deeply the feelings of manjaris and to to learn to serve her in this life and to be connected with my spiritual identity to be able to go there in the moment of the death but here is is saying just just simply thinking that i'm your servant in the moment of death in the same time this is uh, b giving big hope no but uh, what you can say about this that uh, actually if i'm not still realized like maid servants i i don't know how to make service i didn't make service to her in my mind in my heart enough so everything is possible just to think like that <laughs> or what Radhe, Radhe. Radhe Radhe, thank you for this wonderful question. I think this is a question which is connected with all kind of similar questions. In the end, it, it, it comes to the point, is the mercy of Radha big enough to get such a fallen soul like me, even though I have not even the slightest qualification, even though I'm so so much immersed in that horrible material sense gratification in this material world is it really possible is it so easy really to become the maidservant of radha or is it so easy in that connection what about krishna's mercy we hear also about him in bhagavad-gita what about the mercy? So what do you think? Radha Charan, Suriti, and all the others, of course, you are also invited. May I say something? Yes, Radha please. Uh, please. Uh, well, I remember once, uh, many, like 10 years or a little bit less ago, uh, when I... I one day, uh, I took Chaitanya Charitamrita in totally... Another time that I used to read in another days, it was around uh, two o'clock in the PM, and it was on the some bench near my faculty. And so, out of any of my ritual, and in fact, it happened that um, I felt then totally, totally, totally some another feeling of it, and. Uh, like some planet, cool planet came to me and say, and say, 
<laughs> whatever gives me that uh, that peace that uh, things start to be different but especially in that moment when i read chaitanya charitamrita around noon till two then i start to practice it a little bit more but um i was like uh, it was not i that I was disappointed, but like, why just in that time I felt so much, um, probably that mercy or this, this special feeling, like I was on some other very peaceful planet, not in another times. <laughs> so all about this mercy, it's so, so uncontrollable. In fact, no? even when we, some people think, uh, think in moment of death, you can't think then. You are just are, and it's a, probably you are easier than than maybe I don't know. Of course, we don't know. But if somebody sometimes have un stay un unconscious, maybe it's similar. You just don't um, have your ratio, and it's nice. In fact, it's much more. At least for me, it's easier than to 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 be in in in, in that un uh, material unconsciousness much more lighter but uh, yes we, we in this mind we i think we can we, we, we can do some effort and about uh, feeling to each other but uh, i and my experience is that i usually really make mistake even in these uh, personal uh, feelings uh ivan's guru that says that we cannot mix uh, spiritual feelings and um, and 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 material, and that we don't know exactly uh, which one are this or that in our personal relation. We maybe do effort and we want to serve another person from the heart to heart, but it's so mixed. And I think for, um, I would like to. Uh, be better in this, M much more precise and much more intuitive and on the time uh, react really from the heart what uh, what uh, what uh, this holy attitude in me, what, what Radhika, what uh, Holy Mary wants from me to do for in a moment when I talk to people or am with people on shared space with them, but probably not, I'm not ready yet for <laughs> such understanding of reality <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you very much for sharing this with us um, thank you. Mm. i had one interesting experience in the time of iscon during morning lecture of bhagavatam I sit it in front of Nityananda and Gauranga, and that temple was very beautiful, Nityananda and Gauranga, big and beautiful. And I sit and looking at them. In a particular moment, my breathing was stopped. I couldn't breathe in and I could, couldn't breathe out. And I understood, oh, it seems my time for death come. I was peaceful. I look at Nityananda and Gauranga, and I started to remember what I must do in this moment. And uh, it was my, what Gurudev is telling, mistake. Uh, navigator is not the goal, but in that time I thought, oh, I must think, uh, constrain my mind on the lotus feet of my guru. I thought, I'm a yogi, I sit in lotus asana, and I started to think about my guru. And I found, I doesn't like at all this. Why? Because no feeling inside. It's not intellectual at all. Then, uh, after some time, breathing again come. I was so frustrated about all my practice. I understood something wrong, really wrong in my practice. <laughs> and after I understood, uh, feeling mu must come in relationship gradually because a dangerous situation coming the person naturally will think about someone who is very dear to him someone in the dangerous situation i'm now telling about devotees in dangerous situation they'll call mother 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 because no such uh, attachment to ishtadevata 
if if this attachment came, then person will think about Swamini, or it also also by Shimati Radhika's mercy she can arrange everything also because she is goddess of love she can how to say feel the heart of her medicine with love it's also possible but what our sugar death is telling is until we alive uh, our practice is increase our attachment in relationship um, Thank you very much for sharing all these feelings with us. We know this example of Achamil. He was living like a Brahmin. Then he fell down because of wrong association. Then he, will, he married a prostitute and get some children. And in the end, one children because it had the right name, Narayan. He was actually, in the end of his life, saved. The Yamadutas could not take him. Although he was murdering and all kind of different things he did, the most worst things. So we know that example. And we know that this is the mercy of God. But what about the mercy of Radha? Even Krishna wants the mercy of Radha. Even he suffers when he is not getting the mercy of Radha. And what actually he's saying in Bhagavad Gita, 1866, where should we take shelter? He's giving us the best advice. Why? Because he knows my beloved is even more merciful than I. So I give you the best advice, Arjuna, because you're my friend. You're my friend. Because we have relation. It's not about knowledge. It's not about, you know, private. I, I tell you now. Do that. It's the best advice I can give you. Why? Because Radharani, not her heart is melting of compassion. No, her whole self. Her whole self. But what does it mean? If I'm just in practice, like we heard about the example, reading all the time, but now out of time, I read Chaitanya Charitam. Some special other feelings is coming. Why? Because I'm not attached to my usual practice. It's also written in Bhagavad Gita. This person who is not attached to his usual practice is very dear to Krishna, isn't it? Why? Because it's spontaneous, it's out of love, it's out of attachment. It's not out of practice. It's not out of usual things like the day should, should be, you know. If you cook always for your family every day, it's not so easy to cook always with love, isn't it? But if you're spontaneous cooking for someone and you love this person, then you cook very nicely, isn't it? Invest all your heart. So we are practicing raga. That means we are investing our heart. And even just a little bit feelings invested and the rest of the day spoiled, I can say from my own practice, gives me more feelings and more connection than doing the right thing the whole day long, you know? Like it should be. So actually we cannot even imagine how merciful Radharani is. So how could we say if we can go back or not? 
how we could dare to think about this, you know, like, yes, I'm sure we cannot, because if you don't do this and that, then really, do you know Radharani's mercy? I can just say that I can imagine that her mercy is so, so great, so unlimited, that even such a warm in the stool like me, she will pick up in that moment because I carried the wish to serve her the whole life. What does it mean, carry that wish? I don't give it up. I know I'm unqualified. I know I cannot do it by my intelligence, by all needs. I have no qualification. I, I cannot buy it. I cannot do it by sadhana. I can do nothing about it. I can just pray for the mercy and keep carrying on that wish. Please, please, I want. And this is the example, actually, we are given by Srila Raghunadas. Isn't he crying immediately when he comes back in his Sadakavesh? Immediately! He's not waiting a second. It's a constant wish carried. And of course, we have different different uh, bases on which we can carry this wish. Some of us are completely screwed up, you know, mentally or, f men you know, we, we have different kind of, of uh, uh, back stories, you know. We're all different. And who knows what's going on inside. But Radharani knows, and Radharani knows what kind of mercy we need, isn't it? So Gurudev is handing us here, why he is handing us to Radharani? Because it's the most safe position for us. Don't depend on me, I am just giving the way, I show you the way, but I am also a living being, I also want to go there, come with me, I show you the way, but please take that mercy, because this mercy of Ishtadev is much more deep, much more undescribable, astonishing. The same thing Krishna is doing. Sarvadaman parichajamam ekam sharanam brahya. Mam ekam sharanam brahya. Take shelter there. And if we just carry on that, and that means, what means it also? Carry, carry it. It doesn't mean that you forget it. You just had it once and it's going. Carry on means under all circumstances. Yes, two days I was completely crashed. I could not really be with my consciousness by the seva in, you know, or whatever. You know, whatever happens. Sometimes hard times are coming. Maybe inside, maybe inside, outside, maybe on, you know, whatever. But we carry it on means we are coming back. We share again, we hear again, we wish again in the heart, yes, this is my goal, yes, Swamini, I want to come to you, and whatever I thought five minutes ago, I don't care. I carry on this as my first priority in my life. There are different priorities in life, isn't it? We have to also get some money to live somehow, you know, keep the body alive. But this is not our first priority. Our first priority stays Swamini, the seva of Swamini. And if we carry on that, how she could not take us out? 
if she is described as most merciful, how she could not? By the logic of love, of course she will. How a mama would leave her child who is crying? Has the child, has the child to be qualified? Oh, you are not qualified, you are crying. No, no, first you have to be qualified crying. You should cry like this and that, and you have to cry in this tone, you know, and in that melody. If you don't cry in that tone and in that melody, no, I will not come. We are talking about Radharani. Of course she will come and pick us up if we carry that. Of course, carry that means I want. And what actually Mahaprabhu said? You can get it if you really want it, isn't it? There's a song about this, isn't it? You can get it if you really want. But you must try, try and try, try again and again and again. Share about these topics, go in rasa, chant, do whatever you can. And Radharani sees, oh yes, it was an endeavor. Although the situation was very bad, the beginning situation was the worst. But this person endeavored. And I remember one story. Prabhupada was telling once in the morning class, what is needed to go back to Krishna? How, qualifi how qualified you have to be? The whole room was filled with silence after that. Prabhupada ended the class and he said, you have to be like that before you go back. No one moved. Prabhupada left the room. No one moved. No word, no breath was you, you could hear, nothing, it was silent. Seemed that everyone was completely frustrated because they thought, impossible, we can never make it. Then Prabhupada sneaked after a while again in the room and then he said, okay, maybe 80% is also okay. So shortly they laughed. But after that, again, silent, even 80% impossible. Prabhupada after a while came back. Don't you do your seva? Why are you sitting here still? Okay, maybe 70% is also okay. And then slowly, after Prabhupada said, you know, the rest is just mercy. You endeavor, you try your best, and the rest is mercy. Then they moved again. But don't forget, this was in Krishna's case. Srila Raghunadas is telling, only by serving you, just a very, very tiny little bit. Your mercy is giving me all understanding, all these possibilities to go deeper in it and understand everything, just by serving you a little bit. And from my own experience, I can say, you know, yes, daily we change the water and, you know, we do, we cook something and we do some seva like this and shrink our ras and pick some flowers and off. all this we do. It's just a little bit seva. What is it? Not, not very much. It's not the whole day. It's just a little bit seva but so much service so much service is coming out of that and so much mercy because seva means mercy but Rani is saying okay you did that now you do this and now you do that and now you do this and now you do that 
Mercy is coming. Like Sunidhi Didi was inviting me, singing together on a yoga festival, you know, spreading Radha's Nam, Sunidhi's mercy, giving to 30 people of yoga ashram or yoga, uh, what is called, uh, mm. celebration, you know, like that. So Seva will come. This is mercy. You can chant, that's mercy. You can think about her, that's mercy. Whatever you do in the connection with that, it's mercy. So how much mercy we have already to be here and share on that? That's mercy. To hear about Mahaprabhu's mercy, that's mercy. That Gurudev is giving all these sharings, opening up all these sharings for us that we can meet again and again and share. Sometimes he's showing up, sometimes not. That's mercy. Everything we got is mercy. Isn't it? So we are already in a stream of mercy. I don't know a lot of people who, who can say, okay, so today in at one o'clock, I will sit at home and meet so many Radha Dasis, you know, and share with them. Usually people are going for abominable things, not so very helpful things in this world here. So who has this possibility by the mercy of Gurudev and by the mercy of Radharani? Who has this possibilities? Who? One out of a million? or millions? And this is the mercy we get from Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati. From Srila Raghunadas. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, all the authors who gave us these scriptures, these wonderful reminders of the mercy of Radharani and Krishna. Um, I want to small ex give some example about mercy at the end of life. When I told what even devotee can call mother in this situation, it's actually from one story. One lady devotee Russian who, who is preaching many years about uh, Mahamantra, about Krishna, about what at the end of life we must remember Krishna and chant the Krishna Mahamantra. Once she became sick and came to the hospital and she said so much pain but she forget it her own experience she told i forget everything i forget krishna i forget mahamantra i forget everything i remember some some thirties was where i must remember something but i couldn't know how to remember she just called mother and she's crying crying a nurse came muslim nurse came and asked what are you doing you must chant Hare krishna <laughs> And doctor came and asked, who is she? She is uh, devoted from Iskon. Oh, and he's seated because he started to do curtain for her. <laughs> After some time, she was completely recovered, but she thought, I forget everything. But with doctor, with nurse, remind me. <laughs> rather, rather. Such a wonderful example of the mercy, isn't it? So, 
It's not our qualification. If we are helpless, the mother of, our, of us, what means the mother of our soul, not, not the body. We are the soul. We are the servants of that mother. Not, it's not our rasa to see her as mother, but actually she is. It's, it's more uh, tattvas, uh, look, uh, from a tattva side that you look on that. But she is our mother. It's not the rasa we are living with her. The rasa is something else, but it's a fact. So will she forgive? Uh, will she forget us? Really? I cannot believe that actually. I cannot believe that she will forget any, any person, any soul. No. Everything is in her control. Love is controlling everything, although it doesn't seem like that. Do you think, I mean, even Gurudev, does he forget anyone? I know there were some persons like me, not a very good uh, follower. And even worse, people talking bad about him. But does he forget anyone? I know that he's praying for everyone. He may show or not. So what about the original from where the source, from where this kind of mercy is coming? Will she forget any person? No, never. Not even Krishna. <laughs> Although he's doing mad things, isn't it? Although Sri Bhagavan took one girl with him when he disappeared from the Rasa dance, the king of the wise, Shukadev, did not directly say who that gopi was. He thought to himself, although different advents of God have been describing in the Bhag uh, described in the Bhagavad, I have a special liking for Sri Krishna and all of his associates. I have a special liking for the people of Braj. Of these people of Braj, the goddesses, the gopis, have the most intimate relationship with him. And all of these devoted girls, and of all of these devoted girls, Sri Radhika is again the greatest. Because people may not believe these girls, ah, still my heart hesitates to reveal her topmost intimacy with Krishna. On the other hand, if I don't do it, it I may be guilty of withholding knowledge. Therefore, I will reveal Radhika's greatness through the words of her girlfriends, spoken here in the text of Yena Patni. Because people may not believe these girls, because they are partial to Radha, I will also make her rival gopis glorify her sometimes. Although I may reveal all kinds of things out of ecstasy, I will not directly reveal her Radhika's name. In this way, Sri Radhika's holy name is hidden in the scriptures. 
So that shows that the most soft side is always protected. Because she is so merciful, because she is most wonderful, beautiful, the highest state of love in person, she's protected. She was not revealed. But how amazing now we are openly talking about that person and her lilas and her love. The Lord told Arjuna in the end of Bhagavad Gita that surrender unto him is the greatest secret in Gita 1864. The result of that surrender is Brahma. Like Gurudev said, you, dis you, you sign with Krishna and then Brahma. Then we can go in the relationship with Radha. And the essence of that love is Mahabhav. Say Mahabhav Swarup Radha Takurani. And here's the quote of Chaitanya Charitamrita, the second quote. Sri Radha is the very form of Mahabhav. Although she is such a great secret, Sri Radhika nevertheless descended in the house of Maharaj Prishabhanu out of great compassion upon the people of the world so that they can come to know of her. If she had not come, she would have remained an undiscoverable secret of the world. That's the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Radharani was there, but who told us? Who opened it up? Who was showing us the way how to serve her, how to connect with her? And this is the mercy of Radha. You see Panchatattva behind me? This is the full mercy package who came to give us the way, show us the way, how to serve that Radha. And this is the mercy of that Kali Yuga the most fallen persons in the most horrible time, as we see right now, very clearly, again and again, we see what's going on here. So in the most horrible time, the most worst people get the most astonishable mercy of that wonderful, indescribable person, Radharani. So if we are not lucky, then I don't know who could be. Mama.
Mama is calling the children home. It's getting cold. Kali Yuga, very cold, very dark. In that moment, Rani is calling all the children, come, come home. And then we will play a game that is so wonderful and you will like it the most. So if we carry that wish in the heart, for that Sevaras, sure, sure we will get it. Not sure because of our qualification, but I'm sure because of Radharani's mercy. Her mercy is our qualification and her mercy is unlimited. Unlimited. We have to think about this. Maybe so meditation, unlimited mercy. So I think we can end here today. And next time we can go on with verse number 43. And then we can hear again that this actually what we get is never given before. Unnatu Chvalaras. Thank you very much for sharing. And please go on like that. Share your feelings. No one can do anything wrong by sharing the feelings. You know, Guru Rani. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, in, in the description of Radharani, like uh, with unlimited, limited mercy, Karuna Mai. Actually, I found that it's very easy to to remember her like that. <laughs> if he, if she is unlimitedly merciful, this mercy will come sure also for me. <laughs> so, in one way, it was in the beginning it was so difficult to understand that, but now in the end, uh, I, I found that it's very easy actually. <laughs> Remember this aspect of her. Thank you so by, much. By her mercy. <laughs> this is the fact. By her mercy, we can remember her mercy. It's a circle of mercy we are. By the mercy of Guru Dev, we felt inside that, or somebody pushed us inside. And now we are in the circle of that mercy and the only thing we should try to do is not jump out. Stay inside. Isn't it? Like you said, it's, it's, it's very easy by her mercy. Stay by her mercy. Stay. Just be attached to her mercy. <laughs> Who is unlimited merciful? Only Radharani. There is no one else. Even Krishna is limited merciful. Except that he is with Radharani. like in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Adopted her mood.
Thank you, Dayanidhi. Thank you, Radha Charan. Suniti Didi. Karuna Saga. Ananda Mai. What is your name actually? It's Heli on Terra. I don't know your real name. Uh, my real name is uh, Hari Priya. I'm the. Ah, uh, Hari Priya. Yes, now I remember. Thank I'm, you, Hari Priya. Um, on Helgus on Viber. <laughs> ah. This mean Helion Terra means like uh, uh, light on uh, on Earth and it's connected with Helga, like Helon Gea. So okay, it was my free association that uh, I must be positive what Guruda says. <laughs> it's light, so, and do this is this golden light. <laughs> it may Helion Terra, Terra like, light like on Earth. In this your is German name. name. Yes, Radharani's name. Also, my born name then is connected with that because hell is in your language, light, right? Hell and ge ge Gea, hell Gea. So, yes. And Terra uh, like is Earth delicious. and hell is Helia. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vajeshwari, Utkalika Valeri. Thank you all very much and see you soon. Thank you, Goravani. Very sweet. And thank you, Gurudev. You although I could not see you, but I can feel you and we are always connected, although it doesn't seem like it sometimes, but it is sometimes. Guravani, today is also the disappearance days of Rupa Goswami. So thank you that you share this Manjari, Rupa Manjari Pada. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rupa Ragunata Pade. So try to follow that footsteps all together and help each other. And please, please help me pray for this fallen soul, that this fallen soul gets the mercy. All the time carrying it. Jai Jai Shirade.